¿Qué pasó, pinche perro? It's your homeboy, Quetzalcoatl. Welcome back to the Fuck Your Life Boxing Show. Today's episode is going to be about Pritchard Colon and how he was recently moved from the Shepherd Center Hospital in Atlanta to his mother's home in Orlando, Florida. The story of Pritchard Colon is a tragic one. Pritchard Colon was a 23-year-old prospect who appeared to have a bright future ahead of him in the sport. Unfortunately, those hopes of becoming a star in boxing had ended on October 17th of last year when he was disqualified in the ninth round in his fight versus Terrell Williams. His corner had mistakenly thought that it was the end of the 10th round and they cut his gloves and they weren't able to get his gloves back on in time and he was ultimately disqualified. During this fight, Aside from being hit with legal punches, he was also on multiple occasions hit on the back of the head with illegal punches. And while he was able to walk back to the dressing room on his own, once he got in the dressing room, he ended up collapsing and went into a coma. And after he collapsed, he was taken to the hospital where he underwent brain surgery to relieve swelling on his brain. In mid-November... He was transferred to the hospital that I had mentioned, the Shepherd Center, which is a hospital that specializes in brain and spinal cord injuries. Since that time, he's undergone several procedures. And it was reported that a couple of days ago, he was transferred to his mother's home in Orlando. The reason for his transfer from this center, I believe, is that either the center has assessed that there's nothing else that they could do for him. Or that whoever was paying his medical bills is no longer willing to pay them or just doesn't have the money if it's his family that's paying for it. And no matter how you look at it, it's a fucked up situation. And it's just sad to hear because at this point, Pritchard Colon and his family are going to need a miracle for him to come out of this coma. He's been in a coma for over seven months now, and the longer that he's in a coma... Uh, the least likely it is that he's going to come out of it. And even if he does wake from this coma, there's no telling what his quality of life is going to be. I did read, however, that his family is very religious and they have faith that he will wake from this coma. And I just hope that God answers their prayers. But let me know what you think of the situation. Let me know your opinion in the comment section. And as always... If you like this shit, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. This is your homeboy Kitsakwal, signing the fuck on out.